When you switch between these panel types, the first thing that hits you is how differently they display color and contrast, and this affects more than how visually appealing your games may look. The IPS panel produces more vibrant and accurate colors. When I'm working on my video thumbnails or editing footage, the colors that I see on the IPS panel are much closer to what you'll see on your phone or your other devices. VA panels do take a completely different approach. They sacrifice some color accuracy to achieve much deeper blacks and better contrast. Where the IPS panel shows dark areas pretty much as grey, the VA panels can produce actual black. This difference becomes really apparent when you're in a dark room playing atmospheric games or watching movies. The IPS panel over here also suffers from something called IPS glow, which is a light glowing effect that can particularly be seen during darker scenes. This glow becomes more noticeable in dark rooms and affects the edges and corners of the screens most. VA panels don't escape this either though, as they suffer from grey clouding and purple color shifts in darker scenes, especially on budget models like what I have here. Playing something like Jedi Survivor over here, the IPS panel makes darker scenes look a bit washed out and grey. You can see details in shadows that should be completely black, which ruins the atmosphere the developers create. Switch to the VA panel for the same scene, and those black areas are actually black. The lightsaber effects pop dramatically, and the whole experience feels more cinematic. This also makes VA panels better for HD. HDR content, where that deeper contrast helps bright highlights pop against darker backgrounds. Now here's where things get interesting because you can actually see and feel the differences while you're gaming. I'm using the UFO test website to check for ghosting and motion blur, which shows moving objects at different speeds so you can spot any trailing effects. On the IPS monitor, the moving objects look pretty clean with minimal ghosting. There is a little bit if you really look for it, but it's not really distracting. The VA panel on the other hand shows much much more obvious trailing behind moving objects. This happens because VA panels respond slower to changes, creating those ghosting images. In actual gaming, this translates to very different experiences depending on what you play. Marvel Rivals, which is probably the most fast-paced game that I play, feels responsive and clean on the IPS panel. When I'm tracking players or quickly moving around, everything stays pretty sharp. The same gameplay on the VA monitor feels noticeably different. Now, look, it's not terrible, but once you've experienced the cleaner motion of IPS, the VA panel feels sluggish in comparison. Most people assume that viewing angles don't matter anyway because you sit directly in front of your monitor, but this limitation will affect your daily use more than you think it will. IPS panels maintain consistent colors and contrasts even when viewed off center. You can lean back or you can move around without the image changing dramatically. The VA panel though shows significant color shifting and contrast loss when viewed from any particular angle. Even just lean leaning to one side will make everything look washed out and quite frankly incorrect. Now for a single monitor setup this might seem irrelevant but even the edges of a very large screen are at an angle to your eyes. On my 27 inch IPS the corners look consistent with the center of the panel. If this were a 27 inch VA panel you'd notice color differences between the center and the edges just from your regular viewing. This will only become more problematic as your screen size increases. 